Welcome to Ansible for ICX switches. My name is Bharat Uday Shankar with the product management team for Wired Products. Ansible is an open source automation tool that can automate things like network devices, cloud provisioning, configuration management, and other IT services. Ansible is agentless and it does not use custom security infrastructure to be on the managed nodes. It's easy to deploy and uses a simple language called YAML in the form of playbooks, which is written in plain English. It also uses SSH to establish a secure connection to the nodes that are being managed. And last but not the least, it's simple to use, very powerful, and most importantly, it's free. There are two different flavors to the Ansible. One is Ansible Core, or the base version of Ansible, and that's what um, ICX supports today. There's also an enterprise product, which is the Ansible Tower, and it allows for uh, things like workflow composition, role-based authentication. It also has a visual dashboard. Ansible is supported on ICX 7K platforms from 8090 and above. Um, that does not mean that it cannot be run on prior releases, but it's just that QA has validated from 8090 and above today. Let's talk about the Ansible architecture. There are four key components to the Ansible architecture. The first one is the control node. The Ansible control node is the central point of management for the managed nodes, and it can be an, an Ubuntu machine, CentOS, or even a Windows machine. Configuration is essentially pushed to the managed nodes from the control node. Number two, which is the managed node. A managed node is a device that will be configured by an Ansible control node. Ansible supports many types of operating systems, including network operating systems like Junos from Juniper and Cisco iOS from Cisco. And now we are uh, we reached a milestone by adding Ruckus ICX Fast Iron to be part of the Ansible family. And it also supports Linux distribution systems such as Red Hat. So let's move on to what playbooks are. And this is where Ansible starts to get most interesting. A playbook is a list of plays that will be executed on the managed nodes. Plays are a list of tasks that will be performed such as copying a file or changing configurations in the case of network devices or even doing things like a yum update in case of a Linux distribution system. So simplicity is what Ansible is known for as they believe that it should make perfect sense to the user several years down the road even if somebody were to look at these Ansible playbooks that are, that are automating their machines. Last but not least, the inventory file. The inventory file is a list of nodes or network devices that the playbook will be run against. The managed nodes in the inventory can be combined into different groups. For example, uh, you can have you know, ICX aggregation layer or even ICX access layer, or you can have a place like Sunnyvale. So this basically helps with managing the inventory list. So this all of these four parts or pieces ties back into how Ansible works. Ansible essentially works by connecting your nodes via SSH and pushing out these small programs called Ansible modules, which eventually end up executing them as well on these managed nodes. So these modules are, or libraries are developed by our engineering team here in-house and are supported from 8090 onwards. Where can you download the Ansible files for ICX? Go to www.ruckusnetworks.com under software downloads under support portal. Uh, you should find ICX and Ansible modules for ICX version 1.0 under ICX switching. And um, make sure to go through the re release notes. In the release notes, you will see the different types of libraries that are supported today, and also what you would need to install these uh, library files into your Ansible or uh, into your environment on which um, you will be running your control node. Here is an initial list of modules that are supported today in ICX. They include, you know, from creating banners to changing layer two or layer three interfaces. You can have ping, ping modules. You can uh, change user accounts. So the initial list uh, pretty much covers all the basic functionalities that are done in CLI today that can be automated by Ansible. 
please find a programmer's guide that is available on the Ruckus support portal. Go to www.ruckusnetworks.com under the support portal under technical documents for ICX. You should find a programmer's guide for Ansible. It is available for download today. It has some basic instructions as to how to install Ansible and copy the ICX libraries onto your Ansible environment and also run some playbooks. You can alternatively go to docs.ansible.com for further documentation on Ansible. That is the official website for Ansible documentation. For further details, please go to www.ruckusnetworks.com or alternatively reach out to the Ruckus support team. Thank you for listening into this short video on Introduction to Ansible for ICX and have a great day.